not that we can match with a person who may qualify because maybe they're unstabilized, maybe they're a senior, maybe they're disabled, maybe they're low income, and they qualify for some federal dollars or city dollars or state dollars that we can take advantage of to help them get things sorted out and then again like them and there's other mental health support we can do because sometimes hoarding is part of another question. Sometimes it's just being on a fixed income and being concerned and we can try to see if we can get them qualified for another 40 or so services. <clears throat> the doors to the staircase and stairwells in my building do not close. I'm concerned. Is this something that should be reported? My management doesn't care. Okay, um, it should be self-closing. The doors to the stairwell should close. Uh, are they open completely? If they're not, they should at least touch that buck, you know, where it, the, the jam where it closes. Um, sometimes doors will just about make that closure. They should be in the closed position. They shouldn't be chopped open. If they're chopped open, those chocks should be removed. Uh, if management is not doing anything about doors that just like I said they're they're half open they should close to the frame uh, you could make a complaint it's uh, 718-999-2000 and it's going to prompt you do you want a permit do you want some uh, uh, information about different things in the fire department you wait till it tells you about making a, a complaint about a fire complaint and that will go to the local uh, firehouse and they will uh, take a look at the problem. Um, the other one is 311. 311 gives you, uh, you know, a number, and again, those go to the firehouse in that district and that does the inspection, okay? So we do do the inspections like we mentioned. Uh, so again, uh, for instance, the tenant who has the hoarding neighbor or the person who's having trouble with their management, uh, please make sure to stop by outside the auditorium. We have our graduate students in social work who will work with you, take the information, and uh, if you don't want to call 311, we can do it for you. We're here to help. Um, and so uh, somebody raised a concern. I'm just letting the uh, lieutenant take a moment to read through and figure out how they want to restate the question and how they want to just respond. Okay, someone mentioned that uh, they had a fire and personal items may have been taken. Um, the one thing you can do is um, you can, again, that you have the, the number 718-999-2000, and uh, you could ask for fire records. If you know the actual date of that fire, and if something was removed and you're not getting any satisfaction, you can at least get that fire report and then report it back to the fire department and they will, uh, the fire marshals will uh, take care of the situation um, if you have a complaint about something. Um, that's the only thing I can say about that. I mean, there are, there are the fire marshals that will investigate if someone touched your personal belongings. Uh, depending on what happened, if the fire was bad enough that things could be totally, you know, uh, damaged or you can't find them, that could be the, the case, but I don't know the situation. Um, but they can't take care of that. And then you want to start with the fire record, so you could um, get the information of the fire of that day. And if you want to speak to me today uh, in the back, we can see what else we can we can do. For you. If we can uh, thank our viewers uh, for the fire. So if you have specific questions on a card, if you want to uh, lift those cards up. Um, if, uh, does anyone have a card that they submitted already that they need me to answer in particular? Not seeing that, so I just want to thank everyone for coming. Please make sure to fill out the evaluation. Uh, we're always looking to improve our program, and I just want to thank the 75% of the neighborhood. It was completely overwhelming. I am humbled. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming out on a rainy day. Please enjoy. We'll see you again.
No, this is Elizabeth. I've known her for over 10 years. And uh, she comes to everything. And I'm really grateful for it. Okay, I'm going to head to the back where I have my friends who have a bucket. Hi. Oh, nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 